Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So Global got a brand new data download last night, and in today's video, we're going to check out everything that was added to the game to give you guys a quick preview of the next campaign. Now, the first thing that most people will find interesting is that the STR Transforming Bojack has now officially been confirmed to be the next summonable unit or next uh, Dokkan Fest unit on Global. And he, of course, is bringing with him a brand new Texania, as well as the Dokkan Awakenings for the free to play Fizz Hatchiak and uh, AGL Whis. And all this stuff is dropping in about two days from now on February 28th at 10 30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time or March 1st at 1 30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, in yesterday's video, when I was talking about all this stuff, I was kind of stupid and I forgot that March is actually, or February rather, is a short month, right? So in the video I said, you got about a week to go, but in reality, it's only, like I said, two to three days. So that's awesome news for us global players who have been suffering for quite a while now, man. It's been a huge dry spell for content on the global side. The only thing we've really been able to do is uh the chain battle and in my opinion that's one of the worst events in the entire game it's just it's just bad so uh i'm glad we finally have some new awakening some new units to summon for and also some new events like uh you know ultimate clash uh most likely an extreme z awakening now it wasn't revealed in the data download but i don't think that necessarily means there's not going to be a uh you know easy a so we'll have to wait for the news to come out for that but either way, yeah, these are the things that were added through the data download. Let's quickly pop over to my boy Proton10MG's page here. A big shout out to him as always for posting these assets. Make sure you hit him up with a follow if you guys haven't yet. And uh, yeah, let's go to the bottom here actually. And the first thing we'll take a look at are the story assets. So we have, you know, all the members of uh, Bojack's crew. And uh, these are the Bojack story assets, but they're also... You know, the same art for the summonable Bojack as well. And then there are two new wallpapers. Now, if you guys are watching this video right now, you should. I mean, of course you are, but you should have these in your box already. So if you guys haven't collected them, then uh, go take a look, right? And this one's for Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta with Goku and Vegeta in the front. Um, I feel like it's clean. It's definitely a clean wallpaper. The art is... Not my favorite, but it's not bad. It's not bad. And I love Gogeta, so you can't really go wrong with that. And then we have the Goku and Frieza, like, face-off wallpaper. And, man, Goku's neck. His neck right here has always stood out to me so much, man. Like, I can't unsee it. It looks like, I don't know, it's just weird. Like, it's super thick and, and long, like... That's what she said. Um... <laughs> But dude, no, for, for real though, seriously, like, that is just a weird neck. I don't know. It's cool though. I, I like the, the art overall. I like the wallpaper overall. Like, I just can't unsee that part. Um, moving on. Moving on. Let's uh, talk about this Dokkan Festival ticket, which was not a huge surprise. It seems like almost every Dokkan Fest banner now includes the Dokkan Festival tickets because I think Bandai just realizes that they can make more money from us if they include these tickets, right? So... Yeah, this banner will come with a Dokkan Festival ticket from the Pilafs Trope. If you guys are free to play, then it doesn't really matter for you since you're not going to buy it. But for pay-to-play players, um, you will be able to get more tickets for some summons. And, uh, you know, like I said, usually the deals, the uh, prices for these ticket packs are, I find, fairly reasonable. At least compared to, like, buying stones. So I'm probably going to pick these up because I do actually want Bojack. Like, he's actually a unit that... I would like to have in my collection. I'm not going to go crazy for him. You know, I kind of feel the same way about him as I did for LR Turles. Like, really good units, but the characters themselves don't really, you know, do it for me too much. So, I mean, I said that for... I said that for Turles, and I ended up spending, like, 3,000 stones. So, I guess we'll have to see. But yeah, Dokkan Festival tickets available in the Pilaf's Trove. Or the Bojack Banner, of course. We got some new stages for... The uh, Hero Extermination slash Evil Power Strike Back event. Uh, this is level 25. And there's also the Whis Awakening Medal to, of course, Dokkan Awaken the uh, AGL Whis. 
and that's level 24. And we have the Token Awakening Medal for the Hatchiac. And uh, we also have the new Dokkan stage, or Dokkan event stage, for the Transforming Bojack. And there is the Transforming Bojack Dokkan Awakening Medal. Some assets for the Whis Awakening. Yo, this Whis art is actually pretty dope. It's probably my favorite Whis art in the game. No, that's not true. Uh, I think the SSR art for the STR Whis is probably my favorite. But this one's pretty dope too. This, one, this one's pretty dope too. And then we have uh, the Super Hachiak right there. He looks fine. And uh, new category is Space Traveling Warriors. Um, this category somewhat makes sense, but it does have a few omissions that are a little bit questionable. It's one of those categories that like is not super well defined, right? So like, I, I guess they can play around with it. Like, you know, for example, some categories are great because they're just super specific. Like, you know, for example, Super Saiyan 3. Pretty self-explanatory. If a unit is in the Super Saiyan 3 form, or can get to Super Saiyan 3 form, then they are going to be in that category, right? And uh, Pure Saiyan, same thing. Hybrid Saiyans, like those categories are great because the parameters are very tight, I guess, right? But for something like this, Space Traveling Warriors, I mean, there are characters that have, that have traveled in space that aren't in the category. And... Um, you know, like, they don't give you, like, specific explanations for what should be in a category and what shouldn't be, right? So I guess it's just up to Bandai to decide that, or Akatsuki, rather. But, uh, yeah, Space Traveling Warriors, not a, not a bad category, just, uh, you know, one of those categories that are a little bit ambiguous, I guess. But that is the uh, new lead, new leader skill for the Bojack. We have the Tech Sanya, who is looking pretty nice, pretty fine. <laughs> and uh, we also have... The assets for the transforming Bojack. If you guys want to know the details for the Bojack, the Zhangya, the uh, Whis, and the Hachiak, then make sure to go check out yesterday's video. I'll put a link above my head so you guys can go click on it and uh, watch that because I do go over what they do and give you guys a little bit of a analysis, I guess, of like who I think is good and all that stuff. But since I already did it in yesterday's video, I'm not going to be doing that in today's video just to save you guys some time. So uh, yeah, make sure to go check it out if you guys missed it. And uh, just a quick little uh, breakdown here, Dokkan Battle Global, data download for February 26th, 2021, STR Bojack and Texania, Awakenings for ATL Whis, and uh, Fizz Hatchiak, Bojack Dokkan Event, Hero Extermination Plan, level 24, Evil Power Strike Back, level 25, Dokkan Fest Ticket, and new wallpapers. Now, of course, one thing that I did talk about in yesterday's video that is missing here is the Extreme Z Awakening for, or Extreme Z Battle Event for Int. Gogeta. I think that is still coming. I think that's going to be probably in another data download. Um, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. It might not happen this time around, but just going off of the JP celebration, the JP campaign, and given the fact that we haven't had um, a new Dokkan Fest Extreme Z Awakening in a minute, I, I think it's on the way. But uh, we'll, we'll find out for sure once the in-game news drops, of course. So, that's it guys, that is today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Big shout out to Roton10MG for the uh, assets on Twitter. Shout out to DBC Space as well for being useful. And uh, that's it guys, thank you for watching as always. And uh, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger, with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.